time, people, and I haven't had two seconds to decorate my room. Come help me, you guys. First things first, gotta get down to business. Okay, I did do one thing. I got out my snuggly winter blanket. And it's so soft, just like my Santa hat. This is my treasure box of all my Christmas decorations. You ready to check them out with me? This little plushy train will go last, so we'll set him off to the side. My Uncle Mark and Aunt Tina sent my family these a long time ago from Colorado. But they're so cute, I keep them in my room. Check out what they do. We wish you a merry how to make your own. But for now, let's set it over here. This is my Santa door hanger, but I'm gonna put it over here on my closet. Da -ding. This is a snow globe that I made in school. I thought I'd decorate my room with it too, because it has all the things we like to do at Christmas, which are decorating, eating yummy food, being with our friends and family, and this one, I have to shake the snow down. At the bottom here it says traditions. Over here is our stockings that we like to get. And this is my room, waking up to presents. I think it's pretty good. And I'm gonna put it over here by my other snow cup. Just open up the box. I'm so excited, guys. Here's my Christmas pillow for my bed. It says, how naughty can I be and still get what I want? Snoopy goes with this pillow. Make some room, guys. Snoopy's coming true. Hey guys, this is the best part. This is my Christmas tree. It doesn't look very Christmassy yet, but we're gonna make it look that way. This is my Christmas snowman. He has a shiny little red ball in the center for his belly. Now let's hang him on the tree. And I love his green scarf. This is my little red wheelbarrow carrying Christmas ornaments and gifts. This is a reindeer. Next we'll do this one. It's an ornament I made in school last year. I chose the paper I wanted and glued it on the sides and then I sprinkled it with glitter and put five gems on it. Actually, six. Our next thing is gonna be one of my favorite ornaments this Santa Claus. He's gonna go right here. My next ornament is my favorite favorite. I named him Pinguino. 
he's going to hang right here. And then I have all of these little Christmas lights. And they're going to fill up all around the Christmas tree. Now, for our final decoration is the star. And my favorite color is red, so I think it's really awesome. I think it's pretty cool how it shoots kind of farther above the Christmas tree. So I kind of have a little collection of nutcrackers. I've got two tall ones. So I have this guy. And then I have all my really tiny ones. I've got these two. And these two. And then I thought it would be cool to put this Christmas tree in the middle. But doesn't this Christmas tree look a lot like ribbon candy? So I have this cute little teddy bear nativity that I really like. And it's gonna go right back here. Santa eating cookies and his elves making cookies. Can't get enough of those cookies though. I think I'm going to put him up on this shelf by my rubber chicken. Next I have this big old Santa. He's carrying this cute little birdie. Next we have these snowmen, and this little snowman, and this sign that says Merry Christmas, and a cute little teddy bear. I have this cute little candle holder. I have this candle left over from Halloween. It doesn't quite fit, but we're going to make it work. Next we have this angel snowman. Aren't these little mice so cute? They can fit on your fingers. They're going to sit in front of the Christmas tree. I have these three mice. One's riding a sled, the other one is skiing, and this one is ice skating. These Christmas surprises are popping out of their boxes. would have been fun to make. It's a candle holder. Now we have these three rocking horses. This one's made out of wood and got a cute little teddy bear. This one looks kind of like a real horse. 
and it has a little drum. But I. And this one is my favorite rocking horse. It's got a puppy and a present and a drum back here and also a little horn. So this one is my favorite because it also looks really cool. Now I have one last one to do and it's the most special one I have. And I saved it for last. I almost forgot this one. This one is Mr. and Mrs. Fezziwig from when I played Tiny Tim and a Christmas Girl, which was so much fun. And this is a gift they gave me after the show to remember the show by. Ta-da! I saved the best for last, the nativity, because that's the whole reason we celebrate this season. This is the angel. Then we have Mary and Joseph. Then we have the three wise men. And then we have this little lamb. Then the best part of all, baby Jesus. Thank you for spending so much time with me, with helping me decorate my room. Now let's light the tree. So what do you think, you guys? Pretty awesome. I told you I'd show you how to make a 3D snowman. So let's go do it. These are the things you're gonna need. First, one sheet of paper, one small piece of cardstock, a brown crayon, a black crayon, and an orange crayon. Then you're gonna need scissors and tape. And this is how you do it. First need to fold the paper in half. And I almost forgot, we need a ruler. The first thing you do after you fold the paper is put the ruler on the fold. Then you measure it up to two inches. After that, you will take your ruler and make sure that it is three inches wide. Then put a dot at the very end of the ruler. What you're gonna do is put a line across, make sure it's level, because you want a straight line. So now that you have your line, you're gonna cut up to that line, like this, from the fold. the teensy bit above, it's okay. First you have to push this part through, so it'll look like this. And then you have to close it up, but make sure it goes to the end, so it should be like this at the other side. So you shouldn't be able to see it anymore. So then, it'll be like this. So it looks more like a square, just like mine. Even though snowmen are round. 
And the next part, now you have two now you have two folds here. You're gonna cut on the top fold. Now we're gonna do the middle section of the snowman. You need it to be a half inch away from the sides. Draw a little dot that means a half inch in. Then you're gonna measure from that mark one and a half inches up and put a little dot. Now you have to do that to the other side. Now it should be two inches across. Put a line across it. Now you cut. You only cut through the top piece. Now you're gonna do the same thing that you did with this piece. You're gonna pop it out. And close it up. And then you're gonna come in a half inch and put your dot on both sides. This time, you're only gonna go up one inch. And across one inch. Now you're gonna cut up to that line. And remember, only do the top flat. Now pop it out just like the others and do the fold again. Now your snowman should look like this. Pretty good, huh? And we still need the nose and the eyes and the mouth and the buttons. Don't forget those arms. We're gonna set this aside. We're gonna make the arms first. First thing you're gonna do is fold this paper in half. Then you're gonna draw however you want your arms to be. Mine are gonna look like this. Now, it doesn't matter about filling in the lines, except you can if you want to. You just mainly want to get the brown. Now you're gonna cut out the arms. Now that you have both arms, open it up. Now you're gonna open it up and cut them in half, right on the fold. Perfect. Now all you need to do is take your snowman and get some tape. Make sure the tape is kinda small. What you're gonna do is you would think to put the tape on this way, but you have to flip this, this around and put it on the blank side. That hasn't been colored yet. And then 
you're gonna put it in here and stick the tape on. Then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. It's okay if your stomach and arms are a little crooked. Next, what you're wanting to do is make your snowman flat for a second. If you just pull it, it should become flat. Then you're gonna take the coloring pencil orange and make a triangle shaped nose. Remember now, see that crease right here? These are the front, the three squares that have the crease above them. So you're gonna draw it on this piece. You can draw whatever kind of nose you want. Even a really silly one. Now you're going to get the black. Put an eye and an eye. Then put a big smiley mouth. Then you're going to put your three buttons. You can put two if you want. Now, all you have to do is stand it back up. And to keep it standing up, just push that fold down again. And then pull it a little. We're basically done. Fun making a snowman with you. I hope we can make something again soon. Merry Christmas!